Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to show the corresponding value in the text boxes whenever you select some item in the combo box. So for example, I have selected this name in the combo box. The corresponding values, for example, the employee ID, surname and age will appear here in these text boxes. I select some other name, the corresponding value will appear here or some other name and the corresponding value appears here. Now in this video, I want to show you how to do the same. For example, I select some row in this uh, table and I want to show the corresponding value in these, um, in these text boxes or text fields. How you can do it, I will show you in this video. Okay, so whenever I select, for example, Julie, uh, the employee ID of Julie should appear here and the age of Julie should appear here and the surname of Julie will appear here. So how we can do it, I will show you in this video. So if you are following my video, whenever I have shown you uh, how to link this J table with the database value, I, I told you to enclose this uh, with a scroll pane. So whenever you select this uh, table, for example, whenever you want to select this table, you will not see this uh, table here in the properties. and so you you are unable to see the table view because it's enclosed by the scroll pane right so you cannot select this table directly so what you need to do is you need to go to these components here and find your scroll pane and it just expand this scroll pane and you will find the table here now you will be able to select this table item from here okay go to scroll pane and go to table component here and then right click your table okay so right click your table in this component and go to add event handler and then go to mouse and mouse click event so on the basis of mouse click click event on table we are going to show the values in the text field okay once again i will show you go to the scroll pane search for the scroll pane and inside the scroll pane you will find the table because we have enclosed our table inside the scroll pane just right click this table add event handler go to mouse and click mouse click clicked okay and we reach to the mouse click event of this table here and is in this mouse click event of this table we are going to write our code okay so i will just take a sample code which I have written in the last video. So what was that sample code? In the last video, I've shown you how to show corresponding values in these text boxes, right? On the basis of selected value. So I will go to the action perform of this method or this um, action perform of this combo box. And once again, I go to the action perform method or this uh, I will go to this table here once again right click add event handler mouse mouse clicked and in this mouse click event I will paste this all code okay so the code which I have written in the last video I will be using the same code in this video but with a little change okay so by now you already know what this code is doing i have this try catch block which uh, handles the exception i write a query and then i prepare a prepared statement pass the query in this prepared statement with the help of this connection and this is uh, the result i'm getting with the help of result set and then i show the values in here but for uh, the value which is selected in the table we need to have the row or some values from the row so that on the basis of that we can select the select the uh, or we can show the value in the text field okay so what we need to do is outside my try block or you can do it inside your try block it doesn't matter what you need to do is just declare a variable called int row and we will take a row value from the table so then just select the name of your table dot 
get selected row okay S selected row and this will return you whatever you row you selected or whatever row you selected by your mouse okay this is mouse click event right and then we pass the selected row and we will find the value of for example i want to find the employee id and on the basis of employee id i will find or i will query the database okay so i get the row now i want to get the for example string uh, eid because i want to get the eid from the selected row and i will give a little underscore here underscore is it called underscore okay whatever and uh, then i will say is equal to and the bracket and then i will close this bracket and inside this bracket i will pass the name of my table which is table itself dot get model okay get model dot get value at so write get value at and then this takes two argument right first will be so this this two argument will be the column value and the row value so first argument will be the row value so i have i already have the row value right row which is selected so i will just copy this and pass it here as a first argument and the second argument is the column which we have selected so we will write column zero okay and then this is an object so we need to convert this uh, to the string so just write dot to string okay so it will convert your uh, whatever value you have selected the row and the zeroth column which is a uh, employee id column right so column zero is a employee id column that's why i've uh, taken zero and the row will be given by the selected row so in a way i am getting the employee id from the table okay on and on the basis of this employee id i will um, i will query the database okay so now our query will be in the string query select all or star from employee id where then eid because i am querying the database on the basis of eid because i have eid from the table so i will write eid eid is just a column in my database if you don't know okay eid and then is equal to the value which is there in this string so is equal to single quote inside double quotation inside plus plus and just pass this eid inside these plus plus sign okay a mistake just pass i want to just copy this and pass it here okay so now my query is select all from my table name where eid which because i i got eid from my table which uh, is which have whatever row is selected and eid is equal to whatever we selected in the row right then we create a prepared statement connect connection dot prepared statement query and then we don't need this line so we delete this and then we execute the query result set is equal to rs is equal to pst dot um, execute query so we executed the query and in the while loop until and unless we are getting the val values from the database what we have done in the last video we are transferring the values which we get from the database for example we get rs.getString from employee id column and we pass it to the employee id text field same we have done for uh, the text field for the name so we pass the value to the text field whatever value we get from the database from the column name to the text field name so this will be our code to show the corresponding values in the text field whenever we select some row in the table let's try and run the program
run the program and for example I select employee ID 6 just see here if it changes or not employee ID 6 and it changes the corresponding value appears here employee ID 5 corresponding values appears here 4 3 2 1 okay so in this way you can show the corresponding values in your text field whenever you select any row or any cell in your table so i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for